One of the many little games that we play in the art history world, sort of after, with after dinner drinks, is asking, do you prefer Picasso or Matisse? They're the two great figures of the 20th century. They dominated art for the first 50 years of the century and their influence is still felt today. Well, luckily it's not necessary to pick between the two, but I think my presence in front of this particular work of art gives you a clue to my answer if I have to give it, and that is Matisse. This painting here, The Window, painted in 1916, was the first Matisse to enter a US public collection. And I would love to have been a fly on the wall when in 1922, the then director, William Valentina, presented this picture to the board as a suggested acquisition. It says something for Detroit of the time that again in 1922, they would accept would be open to a painting such as this. And it's one of Matisse's greatest works. If we lent this work of art to all of the exhibitions that wanted it, the really serious exhibitions, this work of art would hardly ever be here. But here it is, it's very simple. It's a pedestal table in the middle of the room alongside a chair with another chair in the background, a window, the window is the, of the title, and a radiator. And it's an extraordinary balance of line, uh, straight lines, uh, curving lines, the curving lines that Matisse became so famous for, and it has a kind of transparency. At the same time that Picasso and Braque were, were experimenting with cubism, uh, so Matisse was, was creating these kind of interlocking, overlapping planes. And you see the way that the, the wall in the background, the wall comes down, and with hardly any shift at all, it turns into what can only be read as a parquet floor. But it's still one beautiful flat shape. Similarly, you look through the chair, you look through the chair to the radiator, and above the chair there's the plane of the, of the window with the garden or the park, uh, the, the park outside. It seems very, very simple. Uh, the, the brush strokes are very, very few, but it's an extraordinarily calculated essay in line and form and planes and color.